And we're back with Red Faction. When we last left off, we broke into KPAC's secret lab and killed a bunch more bitches. Both innocent and not so innocent. So, well, then again, they're, they're, in my eyes, no one is innocent. Except the miners. Well, except that one miner who is a complete pussy. So anyway, when we last left off, we were going to take this elevator down to a secret lair. Yep, and there was a loading screen, just as I suspected. Now we're gonna kick his Capex teeth in. Game's over, Scott! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your, your nuts have our full buckshot now. Ow! Stay Ow! Together. Cocksucker! Ow! Watch the flank! All right, that does it. How did you survive the one rocket? Ow! You win! You win! Your ass is dead, you piece of shit. Freaking ass security guards. Nice receding hairline, asshole. Well, this is off to a good start. Oh boy, I might have to actually restart this if I die. Oh! And we got more of these dickweeds. Come on over here, bitch. I got a present for you. It's called assault rifle ammo. Ah, oh, those dickweeds in the, in the sunglasses suck. Up. Come on. How many bullets can you take? You're not even wearing that much armor. Come on, what the hell are you waiting for? Ah, you piece of shit. I'm Ooh, fuck you. Shoddy ammo. What the hell are these for? Whatever is their garbage now. Uh, pardon me, just had breakfast not too long ago. What are you hiding in there, huh? You looking at porno shooting pornos or something? I wouldn't be surprised. Please, traitor! Leave me alone! Oh. Ow! Thank you for the ammo, thankful. Though, me. ow! Don't ow! Hurt me, please! Ow! Where's my cat? Hey, hey. You are entering my inner sanctum now, Parker. Enjoy your last few minutes of normal life. Enjoy your last few minutes of having a cybernetic eye before I rip it out of that socket, you old Wait, pervert. On your side. Oh, come on, hold still. I just want to give you a hug. I said stop running! Oh, he wants to give us a hug. Let's... I am a terrible person. But who gives a shit? These guys are assholes. Ooh, thank you for the med kit, Mr. Dr. J Jackass. Okay. Let's kill some security guards. Ow. How did you survive a direct hit from a rocket? You little shit! You're cheating! Ow. I do not remember having this much trouble. Stay together! Yeah, do that. It'll make it easier to kill you all. Well, this is off to a good start. Wait! I'm on my side. Yeah, F you. Almost out of armor. Move it. Ah. Ah. Oh, good health. Give me that. Don't hurt me. Anything under here? Nope. Ow. 
Hey, Wall, be my human shield. Oh, thank you for dying for the Red Faction Rebellion. We appreciate your sacrifice. Well, not really, but... Oh! Fuck you. And there's K-Pack himself. Ken Parker. This time I... Ow! Whoa! What the hell is that? K-Pack, give us the antidote huh? for the plague and we'll let you live. Ugh. My dear, you have no say in who lives or dies. Oh, there's Eos! She's actually doing something, unlike all the crappy-ass miners we've been encountering. Ugh. You cannot begin to understand the forces I control. Well, you're not going to begin to comprehend the frickin' bullets heading your way! This looks like it isn't doing anything, but it is. J just t take my word for it. Haha! <laughs> He's dead. Haha. <laughs> Parker, stop! Don't kill him! What? Why not? Don't kill him? Ugh! Jeez, Parker, see a plastic surgeon about that forehead! We'll die unless we find a cure for the plague. We can't save the miners who are dead already, but we might save those who are dying. He's their only hope. That's a cool-ass mask, Eos. Who has hope? If you have hope... Nice pants, too. ...you understand yet. Ah, my work... Oh... You brush your teeth, man! They look horrible! The plague... There's got to be a cure. She has a ton of freckles. Stop the replicators. But how? How do you stop them? Antidote. Of course. Come on, Eels. Let's finish him and get out of here. We need that antidote, Parker. If you're not gonna help, shut up. Hey, don't tell me what to do, bitch. The I'm the one who's been doing most of your dirty work. Help you. Hope you all die. Ugh! To be in his computer file. Cut the camera, I don't Maybe wanna look at that. Can help. Parker, you've got to get out of here. One of us has to live through this. No, I'm not gonna leave. No time to argue. Go out the way I came in. If I don't make it, you must tell people there's a cure for the plague. So we gotta piss off now. Oh shit, we gotta piss off, piss off fast. To evacuate. Go out the way I came in. All right. outside for you. I remember uh the first time I got played to do for me. He'll explain. I don't have the All right, I'm 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 I'm, I'm going, bitch. 45 seconds to self-destruct. Yes, I'm going, bitch. Luckily the self-destruct doesn't reach all the way back here. I'm going. Open the door, dickweed. Jeez. Also, you may, if you played Red Faction Guerrilla, you might have recognized that little central platform room because we actually go there in Red Faction Guerrilla. Neat, huh? <laughs> yeah. And thankfully we got some more Enviro suit armor because we're back in the hazardous Martian landscape. And I'm going to save the game here, because this next part may be a little tricky. Though it's also pretty damn fun. Orion says Eos was planning to bring a computer disk to Altos Communications Center. Eos had contacts in the Earth Defense Force. She thought they'd send a rescue fleet if we put out a distress call. The comm center's at the end of this canyon. Let's deal with the canyon first. Then look for a way up to the comm center. You mean I'll deal with the canyon first, shut up. Oh, hello there. Parker, you said that if she didn't come out, you would. And she said to give you this computer disk, I don't know why. We need to go to the far end of the canyon. I'll drive, you hop in the back and man the gun. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm not sure how well it'll work with that two-dimensional steering wheel, but okay. Funny story, the very first time I played this game, I had my rocket launcher equipped when I uh, encountered this guy, and for some reason I think I played a game where R1 was the action button 
for, for like a different video game. And for some reason, I thought that that was the action button here. And I pressed the R1 button when I was looking right at him while I was equipped with a rocket launcher. It did not end well. Yeah, and I had to go through the canyon on foot. But it wasn't a problem since I had cheat codes. Unfortunately, we don't have that advantage here. So yeah, it's a driving section! A turret section, I mean. It's a bit like the ones in Red Faction 2, except not as good. Mainly because we have limited ammo. It's rough getting here. And I don't expect it to be any easier getting back. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus. How did you even get here in the first place? This place is heavily armed. Did you drive down that steep cliff on the other way, in the other direction? And why are you swerving so much? Learn to drive, asshole. We'll never make it through. I'm working on it. You think this shit's easy? Blow that thing up quick. Damn gunship! Hold still! Heads up. Doing surprisingly well so far. God, I can barely see! Is there a brightness option in this game? I'll have to check that. I've blown through, like, almost 300 bullets so far. Good thing this thing holds so many. Oh goody, it's another one of these. Up yours, dickweed. Hey, don't worry about that, douchebag. He can't hurt us. He only took one point of damage so far. That's impressive. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, just abandon the... The truck, buddy. That's the only way up from the canyon floor. It was blocked by a landslide about six months ago, but Alter cleared it off. Yeah, thanks for abandoning the car, asshole, while there were still hostiles all around us. Uh, retreat or die. Ah! What the hell? Get back in the turret. Can't see a damn thing! Come on, d eat lead, bitch! Come on, I heard you! Get out here! I burnt through so much damn ammo. Was late. Who the hell are these guys? Hmm. In case you didn't notice, these are not security guards. You may be wondering who these guys are. You'll find out once we go get move a bit further, although the plus side is we get some new guns. This is the precision rifle. It's a bit like the one from Red Faction 2, although it doesn't have the the little pointer thing that tells you where our enemies is. It does have explosive bullets, though, so that's fun. Now let's go back here and check on our driver who just up abandoned us and fled like a little bitch. He almost blends in with the background. What the hell was that? That movement. I have my orders. Your orders? What are 
your orders to just stand here in the middle of a canyon in the middle of enemy territory? What the hell is wrong with you? My orders are to stay here. Oh, fuck you. I hope you get blown to shit, you little freak. You guys are worthless. God, I want to throw a sticky bomb on you so much. But no, nope. I'm not going to kill the miners. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Driver Man. I shall forget your name and probably like... Well, you never even told me your name, so I'm going to forget about you very quickly. <sighs> Hang on. <sighs> they should make a video game where you're where there's a side mission where you have to track down and kill telemarketers, because that would be fun. I'll have to do that for one of my game ideas. And we're back in the caverns again. There are more of Capex little monsters around here. Here, a little chocolate bar. Huh. Ooh, what's down there? Are there any more of those things? I can't tell the graphics are so smudgy. can see an oddly placed air vent up there in the middle of a frickin' cavern, but we'll deal with that later. Into the water! Where'd all this seaweed come from? Is this natural, or did they put this here, too? Like a Martian fish. Ugh! Haha, <laughs> you can't go in the water! Well, that didn't do shit. Ugh! Ugh! Get away from me! Ow! Fuck off, you little brat! Stupid mutated frogs! Anything up here? Nope. Crouch down. Kind of feels... This game sometimes feels a bit like Half-Life, although Half-Life was hard as shit. Ow! Up yours. Especially Half-Life Decay. Holy shit, if you're playing that game on your own, it's brutal. That's some more bad news. Ah, uh, what now, Jimi Hendrix? Orion still hasn't heard from Eos, but that's not the really. I don't bad give a crap about what Orion says. He's useless. Once you've sent the message from the comm center, we still have to get the fleet in here. Ultra has a system of laser satellites orbiting Mars. How the hell do they the fleet apart that? Unless we disable them somehow. Isn't that like a against space station that controls the satellites? We've got to get you up there. Oh no, I ain't going up in space. You got any bright ideas for that, he Jimi Hendrix, huh? So yeah, they have laser satellites? Where, how do they get a permit to build those? Isn't that against, like, the Geneva Convention or whatever the hell that the government of the, this era uses? Or wonder what ta what's taking EO so long. There was there, there, That self-destruct thing was only set for, like, 50 seconds. She'll probably... Didn't have long to get out of there. You may have noticed that faceplate thing she was wearing. That's because the left half of her face is, is like, deformed from the plague, I think, because I saw a little illustration of it in a strategy guide once. There's that weird misplaced air vent. Jump! Still no word from Eos. I don't think she made it. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Eos is lost, and now Alto sent in reinforcements. Oh, really? They've kept a regiment of mercenaries in reserve. Now they're coming out. Uh-oh. The mercs are led by Colonel Masako. A real nasty piece of work. They're all butchers, and she's the worst of them. 
So yeah, those guys we were fighting that were using the precision rifles are mercenaries, and they're going to be the new enemies for the rest of the game. We're still going to encounter a ton of security guards, but... Ooh, you're one of the miners that doesn't have a mustache. But yeah, mostly the mercenaries. But that's cool, because they, they use new guns. Sweet-ass guns. Let's see where this thing leads. Jeez, Parker hauls ass in these confined spaces. He must be claustrophobic. Phew. How much longer I can deal with this crap? Hey, I'd rather be down here where it's quiet than up top where all hell's breaking loose. I guess, but it really stinks down here. In a couple more months, you won't even notice. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, I've been down here for years, and it hasn't affected me none. I notice you don't get invited to a lot hmm? of parties. Did that guy's voice just yeah, change? Yeah, get back to work, wise ass. Huh. So apparently this is some kind of disposal pit, and they just dump it in a random cavern. And these guys are civilians, and you know what that means! Time to have some fun! <laughs> oh, don't worry, you won't have to worry about the smell anymore. And neither will you. Although you probably did just shit yourself out of fear. Hey, if you don't like it, go watch someone else's Let's Play of this game. Damn, it's freaking dark right in this area. Are there any brightness adjust options? I doubt it. Keep going a bit further. <laughs> oh, and yeah, they, they mentioned the EDF fleet, so apparently we're getting help from the guys from who are fighting giant ants and robots and stuff that they gave stupid nicknames to. And they become the villains in Red Faction Guerrilla, so this is a good idea. Oh, it's just another civvy. Now we get to try out our new super rifle. Well, we could if it wasn't so damn foggy. Don't worry, I'll make this Over quick. Hey, where do you think you're going? You little bitch! There's a loading screen there! The fucking hell, Parker! Uh, no matter, I'll just use this. <laughs> little brat. They're taking all my fun away. Now, yes! I'm assuming that guy's evil, because it looks like he's holding a gun, so... I wouldn't care either way. Ooh, that got him good. And we get to ride an awesome cable car. I love cable cars in video games for some reason. Wish Saints Row had some. They're not fun when they get stuck and fall off, though. Like those kids in that one movie about the... What was that called? Frozen? Or something? That It was that horror movie where there were these kids on this ski lift that got turned off and they were stuck there all night and two of them fell off and got eaten by wolves. I don't deserve to die! I didn't even shoot you yet! <laughs> now I did. As you can see, this is a pretty good gun. Bye-bye! Ooh. Are we above that canyon we were just in? Maybe we can find that little brat at dickweed miner we left us behind. Is he down there? I, it doesn't look like the area. So damn it. I wanted to shoot him. No matter. Let's keep going. And since this thing is semi-automatic, we can use it for close quarters combat, too. And I think I'm going to call it quits here for today, because this is 20 minutes. The Grand Canyon. 
copyright infringement of the Grand Canyon on Earth. So when we come back, we're going to go to this communication center and fight more mercenaries. And this is where the difficulty really takes a deep curve, a steep curve. So when we go, so I'll see you guys later.